Hello guys, welcome to my video series tutorial to talk about Microsoft Semantic Kernel. In our last video, we talked about what is Prompty file, how to create this Prompty file using in Visual Studio Code. In this video, I am going to focus on how to use this Prompty file in our Semantic Kernel application. Let's start. I am going to use the same sample which we used in our last video, the history prompt. So this Prompty file, I am going to use in, a, in our Semantic Kernel application. So the first step, if you go to this basic prompt file, just right click. Here you can see there are three different options available. One for if you want to use this file in the prompt flow, you can use this option like that lang chain. As I mentioned, I'm going to focus on how to use this file in our semantic kernel application. So if you click this one, add a semantic kernel code, there is one CS file has been generated. These are the some basic steps how to use this file in semantic kernel. You cannot simply use this file if you pass deployment ID endpoint key, it won't work because we have to install some of the package also because this package file is not related to prompty file. This is different package name. So the code might be a wrong one. What I'm going to do for that, I'm not going to use this file. Instead, I created a small project console application project using semantic kernel. So here my project called SK prompty sample, the program.cs file. At the moment, I just read only this uh, environment information. So go to the basic directory from there. I move to this path env file, which available here. Here I am reading the endpoint key and deployment. So the next step, Go back to the same file, this SK file. I'm going to copy all the information. Move to program.cs file. Here I paste this code. That's it. The first step, we have to install the NuGet package, Microsoft Semantic Kernel package. Once this get installed, the next package we have to install related to this prompty file. So I just open this project file, open to the side. Yeah. Here you can see related to kernel, I install this package, Microsoft Semantic Kernel. And for prompty file, we have to install another package called the Microsoft Semantic Kernel Prompty. This file and still this package in pre-version. So that's the reason it's coming version alpha. So the two package I have installed, the same thing you have to do. I just close this project file. So here, first, I'm going to use Microsoft Semantic Kernel package using. So the error is gone. The next, we have to add another package called Microsoft Semantic Kernel dot prompting. This one we have to insert. Just change my keyboard to German. Yeah. Done. Once you added, still you get uh, some error message because this function is in the alpha mode. We have to disable this warning. So the warning is SKEXP0040. So we have to disable this one. For that, I'm going to use slash program warning disable not this one skexp0040 that's it so the error is gone the next step i have to change this path also basics dot prompty so this file also same like available in this path so i just copy the complete one here and add to here I change the variable name like prompty file and this is replaced with this env here and we pass the prompty variable here that's it it's ready the next step 
this prompt file we have to pass our question this is a sample information so we have to pass the required information for example if you want to pass a question here you can see this kernel argument we set the question make sure the same variable name you have to use if you change something like that it won't work so if any error is coming related to your parameter first you have to check what variable you are used and the same variable you used in the kernel arguments or not so the question we used the same passed here so we have to pass our question what is my question like i pass my question related to history information so i remove this one instead i add my question like what were the major events in india 1947 this is my question that's it keep then start the application executed hello world the hello world information is coming the next here you can see we get some hasty information about india in 1947 yeah seems to be is working now the next argument we have to pass because we not passed the first name that's the reason the name is not coming so i have to pass the first name also so here i pass the first name first name like this name rajendran here that's it we keep this one go to application yeah seems to be all fine we restart again now you can see the our first name is coming which i add added here first name is rajendran here we get the information hey rajendran some other information if you if you see the previous example in previous example we didn't pass the first name that's the reason is not coming here but our latest output it's coming so this is a simple example how to use this prompt file in our semantic kernel application and there is another function available at the moment they added two function related to prompty one for create function from prompty file and another one you can pass the string also it is create prompty so here we have to pass the string so instead of reading from the file you have to pass the string also that we will talk about later i just keep uh, the file only at the moment thanks all